Good morning everyone. So we have got a little bit of a scenery change up. I am walking on our little treadmill um, and we've got a stand up desk here. But I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I am at the point now where I don't really enjoy walking outside anymore. And I never thought I'd say that because I'm like a little puppy. Like I usually love my steppies. Um, but just like in this last week especially the last couple of days it's like I feel like everything hurts everything's just tired and like even trying to practice posing is so hard because I feel so tired and I feel bad because my calories aren't that low I'm not really doing any cardio besides like 15k steps but I guess just like when you've been prepping for so long and your body fat levels are so low you're just very fucking tired um so yeah just gonna be brutally honest like i haven't even edited my youtube video from last week because i just can't be fucked at the moment and i'm really just trying to um just prevent any anxiety and just like really get in like my zen mode because i mentioned in my last video i was feeling really anxious um for a little bit and just like really doubtful and stuff and i think it just came down to spending like a lot of time on social media and stuff so i didn't post on instagram for a couple of days and yeah still haven't edited my youtube video but i'm feeling way better for it like i think i just needed like even though i was still active i think i just needed that slight little detox just to kind of just get into a calmer state like i've started reading again and yeah just doing things to keep me a bit more calm like not really talking to people as much um because yeah just being on my phone all the time like having to respond to so many people and stuff like i really appreciate it but sometimes it can be a little bit much um so i think that was just the cause of it but yeah energy levels are quite low like it just even just when i see people in the gym it's like just having conversation <laughs> makes me puffed like at work trying to like serve customers is like such a task at the moment so we are 15 days out today so i had my morning check in this morning so i'll display how i was looking uh this morning so we've tightened up once again um so i think like my waist came down like another centimeter i'm back down to 55 kilos um after my cheat meal the scale did go up slightly but it wasn't really too much i think it was maybe like 500 grams so it wasn't a whole lot but i did find for like most of the week after my cheat meal my digestion didn't feel as good but i think it just came down to what i was eating throughout the week because like i was kind of exposed to this yummy meal and then it increased my food focus a little bit so i like wanted to have all these yummy things like it was all really healthy but it was like heaps of like cherry tomato and capsicum and zucchini just to like provide me with that volume but to be honest I haven't really been increasing my volume this whole prep so like I was still within my fiber goal but I think just all the water contained within all of those foods my tummy wasn't liking it too much um but I feel way better today because I went to the bathroom twice yesterday because uh, I didn't go for a couple of days so obviously that's going to affect that as well so yeah I guess it just kind of comes down to like like I've said in a couple of vlogs like you know you, you might want that instant comfort of all these yummy foods and stuff but then you kind of have to be real with yourself and be like okay is this benefiting me and like clearly it wasn't benefiting my digestion um, which essentially is going to hurt my energy um, you know my mental energy but also my energy throughout the day because they say your second gut is your brain so if you're not feeling good in your gut you're not going to feel good mentally either um so today's meals are going to be pretty basic but i mean it's probably good for you guys to see the basic foods that you do need to eat to give you that digestion anyway but i feel like there was more i have to update you guys with not really actually no there's no changes that have been made however taylor was very happy with how i looked after the cheat meal so we might actually try and replicate something like that before show day which is exciting <laughs> but yeah that is pretty much it so today is going to be a full day of eating and an upper body day i might even record a little bit of my posing practice for you as well but yeah i'm just going to if my clients have done their check-ins which hopefully they have because it's nearly 9am uh, 
I'm just gonna do them at the stand up desk today. Just get them done super early. Liam's out for a walk at the moment. It's actually raining, which is another reason why I didn't want to go for a walk. And then we're gonna have our first meal and head to the gym. All right, Liam is home from his walkies. We have got a coffee. Liam's having a decaf coffee, actually. Yeah, because I'm gonna be slamming ungodly amounts of pre-workout. Yeah, yeah, see, I don't take caffeinated pre-workout. It also makes me. Be getting a fucking monster. Yeah, caffeinated pre-workout makes me too anxious. So I generally just stick with a coffee. But client check-ins are done, which is really good. So done for the day. Um, but yeah, we're going to head to the gym soon. We're going to have our pre-workout meal. But Liam um, put it into perspective how we're feeling at the moment. So like, I kind of just said to him, I was like, yeah, I'm being super honest with the camera today. Like I just said, you know, I'm very energy deprived. I don't feel like speaking. Um, and I was like, you know, like I always wanted to keep my YouTube super positive, but the last thing I feel right now is positive. And Liam just said, I feel positively fucked. So that is the best way to put it, but I'll see you for the next meal. Okay. So I realized, I don't know what day I thought it was to be honest. Um, but I knew I was training upper and then I checked my phone. I'm like, Oh shit, today's Friday. I'm actually meant to train legs. And just before that, I said to Liam, I was like, my legs are like aching. They have been for a few days. I'm so glad I'm not training legs. And then I realized it is meant to be legs, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to train them tomorrow because I don't need that negativity in my life. So we're doing them tomorrow. Sunday's rest day anyway. And my next leg day is until Tuesday anyway. So that's enough time to recover. Pre-workout meal. So we have got, oh, it's going to fall. I'm just going to tilt the camera a bit easier. Um, so we've got rice flour, banana, blueberries, hang on, um, blueberries, lint chalk, cinnamon, maple, and some salt on the top. And Liam has got zucchini oats. Hulk oats. What? Hulk oats. Hulk oats. Yes. Um, so yeah, that is first meal, pre-workout meal of the day. So I just like pre-make my flour the night before and then top it with the banana and then just heat it up in the morning. So that way it's just like super quick and easy. But I'm going to have this and then I'll see you in a little bit. Pre-workout meal is in. So we're just preparing our post-workout meals. So that way it's just like ready when we get home. Um, but this is the rice flour that I use. It's super cheap. I literally just put like 45 grams worth in a bowl and then add about 150 mils of boiling water stir it in and then i just top it with however much banana i'm having so i think i've got about 70 grams worth um and then i just heat it up when i get home and then top it with the berries and stuff i've also pre-grated some zucchini um so i'm going to have a egg white omelette when i get home as well for my source of protein i usually would top it with some isolate protein but i still just want to increase my volume at this point. So I'm just having egg whites instead. Um, but yeah, that is what we're doing. At the moment, we're gonna head to the gym soon. Oh,
Alrighty, we are back from the gym post mer post workout wheel. What? Uh, so I've got a omelette with zucchini. So that's just egg whites, and then I've got my cream of rice here, and we've got. Liam has got his little sludge. Red velvet. Red velvet. Oh, good. Um, and we've got a decaf coffee here. So we've got like these tea bag, or like decaf bag How's prep coffee going? bags. Yeah, 500 how's, of coffee. <laughs> how's prep going? Um, we're actually feeling a lot better than how we were feeling before, which is really good. Um, I don't know. We just like randomly came to life after our session. Uh, but anyway, um, I thought there was something I had to say. <clears throat> I can't remember. I have received my update from Taylor, so I'll go through that in a minute but i'm going to enjoy my post-workout meal and then i'll let you know the updates let's get into the updates so tomorrow is going to be the same calorie wise so i'm still on 1900 cows so i've got 245 carb my training stays the same um but my steps are dropping from 15k to 10k and then it will be 10k up until tuesday tuesday wednesday i have 9k and thursday friday sorry thursday i have 8k Friday I've got 7k um, so my calories are going to change throughout the week so Sunday and Sunday Monday Tuesday I'm doing a fat load so that will consist of 100 grams of fat then 120 then 140 with my fats uh, sorry with my carbs uh, being at 100 and then we're doing a carb up on Wednesday which I'm so excited about so I'll be having 500 grams of carbs and then Thursday Friday is to be announced so that will just depend how I'm looking. So I'm going to be sending Taylor daily photos starting tomorrow. Um, so that way we can aim for, well, I guess, see what we need to do to get that show day look. But yeah, I'm excited. Can't wait for the carbs. Very exciting. We've just run to the shops. It is public holiday today, so we had to go to one that's like a little bit further away. But we got a Macca's Coke Zero on the way. I feel like they just taste so fucking good. I don't know. Just I think it's just the syrup. Uh, so we just got a couple of groceries and Liam's going to do some cardio now. I'm going to do a little bit of posing, so I'll take you with me. Um, yeah, and then it'll be time for our next meal. Next meal. So we have got, um, oh yeah, you can see through. So we've got, I was going to have shredded lettuce, but we went to the shops, I didn't have any. So it's like a family blend with a bit of cabbage, carrot, lettuce. Uh, we've got jasmine rice, ghee butter, chicken, one egg, some mustard, sugar-free uh, sweet chili, and some salt. Yummy. So I'm going to have this and then I'll see you for my next meal. Okay, just quickly, I have randomly started eating with chopsticks um, the last couple of days. Just really helps me slow down and it makes my meal last a lot longer. I did used to eat with chopsticks like really, really early in prep to get into that good habit. And then I just got annoyed and I just wanted to eat my meal. Um, but that is a huge hack for making meals last a little bit longer. And I have absolutely nailed how I cook my chicken now. So I will let it marinate. I try to let it marinate for like a couple of hours, but it only really marinated for like 20 minutes today. But I'll use uh, like a quarter teaspoon of paprika, cumin, 
uh, and then I'll use like a particular herb whether it's like dill or oregano or something like that and then some salt and pepper lime juice and then I typically will use tenderloins and I will cook it on one side for three minutes on like medium high and then three minutes on the other side and then I'll chop it up with some scissors and then like stir it through my carb sauce whether it's like rice or potato or something that and it's nice. it's that? yeah it's so so good um and just with like a little bit of ghee butter to slow down the digestion of the carbs but yeah that is a little hack it is absolutely delicious but yeah i'm going to have a pepsi now i typically always feel like something sweet after my meals and it just really helps curb my cravings and keeps me full so i'm going to have that and i'll Pretty chat nice. to you later all righty time for my next meal so this is like cheeseburger bowl vibe you probably have seen this like a couple of vlogs ago but we have got the salad uh, charisma potato, beef mince, mustard and barbecue sauce and lots of salt. So <laughs> Liam's Myron. Oh shit, hang on. I'm dropping it. <laughs> He's Myron. Potato. Um, potato. Yeah, so I microwaved the potatoes and then I mixed them through with the beef mince just to crisp them up a little bit, um, just to really infuse that flavor in. So I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you for my next meal. So last meal looks a little bit weird, but it's going to be absolutely delicious. So I've made like a protein spread with some isolate protein and water. And then I um, cooked some banana in cinnamon, topped it with more cinnamon and some almond butter. Never actually had this before, so I'll give you guys a taste test, but I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. to finish off tonight i will be having my adrenal switch so i've actually been having this hot the last couple of nights um liam and i've been getting into the hot drinks lately because we feel like it kind of like soothes us a little bit it feels like we're like taken care of um but that is it for this episode so i just want to thank you guys so so much for watching and we will see you in the next one say bye bye, bye. <laughs>